<laughs> Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today I saw an interesting article about vaccine requirements. So, as you in this article from Deadline, the LA City Council has voted for a deal to create a vaccination requirement for indoor public spaces such as restaurants, movie theaters, and concert, con- uh, concert venues. Now, they're not sure. I'm not sure when this goes into effect. I know they're drafting up the ordinance. Um, right now, the city starts going to plan an ordinance. It can go into effect maybe next week. Who knows? But the real thing is, again, indoor public spaces, restaurants, movie theaters, concert venues, at Universal and Six Flags. The the gates themselves are outdoors, but within them there are restaurants, um, there are movie theaters, and City Walk, and there are even concert venues. Well, sometimes. But my question is, will Universal Studios Hollywood and Six Flags Magic Mountain be required to implement a vaccine requirement? City Walk may not. Well, the way they're probably doing City Walk. Is you can walk around City Walk freely, freely, but just to, just to go anywhere, you'll have to show your vaccine card, like the AMC Feeders or Bubba Gump Strip or NBC Sports Grill and Brew. But for the park, I wonder if you can get into the park and not have a vaccine vaccine requirement, but then just show your vaccine to go into the stores or restaurants, maybe rides. I'm very curious. Maybe they won't have a vaccine requirement at all. Maybe theme parks are separate. But I'm very, very curious. Um, because I'm in the article, it doesn't show too much of uh, it doesn't show too much of what's required besides those specific venues. But there are those venues in theme parks. So I wonder if Universal or Six Flags or both will just put out a flat-out vaccine requirement. I mean, you have to show your vaccine card or upload it maybe to the app or something when you buy your ticket or show it at the gate. That would be very interesting. And I'm curious, would that cause you not to go? Would you not go if there's a vaccine requirement? Would you not? Would that not urge you to go get your vaccine? Especially since there's and this vaccine requirement, by the way, wouldn't be for two shots; it'd be for one shot. And City Walk has a COVID vaccination clinic on site in the parking lot, so it's theoretically possible that if you don't have your vaccine and there's a vaccine requirement to get into Universal, you can get your vaccine that day in the parking lot. At the uh, Curative COVID Clinic, that's your one shot. They get a card, and they can ride it back into the park, which would be very interesting. I mean, there's side effects, but usually the side effects don't happen until the day afterwards. So that is possible. Six Flags does not have that option, and I'm sure, I mean, Six Flags, last time I went there, there's an indoor mask requirement, and I didn't even see people wearing employees or uh, guests wearing um, masks indoors. So, I don't know how thoroughly they are going to follow that if they do it, but Universal will definitely uh, follow it greatly, and I am very. I don't know if they'll do a vaccine requirement for the just to get into the park or just each venue separately when you get inside the park. But, yes, this, uh, again, no set date or time for when this starts, but the... Uh, now that the, the LA County voted, the city attorney is going to draft an ordinance. And, I mean, these things could be passed as soon as next week or in a couple of weeks. So, again, would a vaccine requirement stop you from going into a theme park in LA County? So, the LA County Pier, sorry, Santa Monica Pier, even though that's mostly outdoors, um, Universal Studios or Six Flags. Very, very curious. 
Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Again, this is just LA County that's doing this. It's just LA County, so this isn't this does not include Disneyland or Nassau Bay Farm. Those are in Orange County. Those are vaccine requirement free. Disneyland just has an indoor mask mandate. Knott's does not. Just strongly recommended. But not only does Six Flags and Universal have a indoor mask mandate, but a potentially a potential vaccine requirement as well. Which, if they have a vaccine requirement, theoretically, um, the indoor mask mandate can kind of go away, right? Because theoretically, everyone will probably be vaccinated. It probably won't go away, but that's just my theory. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I'll also put a poll on YouTube a couple hours before this video pops up. Uh, pops up. So I'm very curious about what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press that thumbs up. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Share this video. For anyone who might not know that there's a vaccine requirement potentially, potentially coming. God, so congested. And as always, have a fantastic day.